Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to go over how to make these super simple but absolutely deadly wire trolling hooks for salmon fishing. You're going to see on your charter boats, they don't use the R RSKs, FBRs, or any other uh, plastic product. I'm not saying that they're bad, but these guys produce a natural bait with the controllable spin that salmon can't resist. So easy to make, cheap to make. We're going to go over how to do all that. All right, so the backbone of, of, of the wire trolling hooks are gonna be the safety wire. You find these on Amazon. This is the quarter pound, 0 0.032, thousands of an inch wire. All right, to get started, what I usually do is measure it off about five inches, and that's a loop. So 10 total, but you're gonna bend it over five inches of wire. You want it looped over. You wanna grab a hook. And this is a lot easier to do if you have a vise, but we don't have a vise, obviously, in this setup. So we're gonna use vise grips. These hooks, and depending on, on your regulations, these hooks cannot have barbs for salmon fishing. These hooks come with a, a bait keeper and the barb at the point where we're gonna do is go ahead and crush that. So we, when we use these, they're legal here in the state of California. These are high carbon steel, so once you give it a little pressure, they have a tendency to snap off those barbs. So now that's nice and clean. With a vise, like I said, you would go ahead and lock your hook in there, but with these vise grips, what I like to do is go ahead and use them, control it right there at the bend of the hook, give it a little tighten, maybe a little more. So that way we can wrap the wire around the shank. This is a little bit of a tricky part. I like to come in opposite of the, the point itself. So coming in from the back of the hook, you need to line up both tag ends of the wire and push it through the eye. Um, generally with, with your uh, wide gap hook, five aught or larger, it should be easier to push through. These guys are not the wide gap, they're just a long shank straight hook. So they present a little bit of a challenge to uh, get the wire in there. It's starting to go. So you want about an inch, inch and a half of wire to come through. It all depends actually on the size of your bigger regular anchovy. A four inch long tag end here is, is, is good. Sometimes a little larger, you're gonna run a herring. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to wrap this around the shank. You want to target about four wraps. And you wanna keep it tight so it doesn't slip, but as it gets tighter, I think it cleans up a little more and pulls itself. You can use your pliers to smooth it out. And there we go. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna start a wrap. So I usually leave about three quarters of an inch from the top. Kind of crunch that down a little bit so it's nice and narrow and just start wrapping it. Make sure you hold it. As you can see, you get a nice, clean, tight wrap. That's gonna make it rigid and hold its shape. Okay. So as you can see, this is a nice, tight wrap. It's very rigid, it goes back to shape. This is a commercial one that we bought. We're making this one a little longer. It's gonna sit in the body a lot nice. This only has three wraps in the shank. I suggest doing four. Even with three wraps, you can feel that wire is pretty strong and. I wouldn't think of this live, but just for the sake of security, do four wraps. So now we're gonna come back to the top here. We're gonna pinch off near the top, make this a little flatter. 
like so. We're gonna pinch off near the top and we're gonna put a gap between the spot that we're gonna put our hook or where we're gonna put our um, snap, swivel snap. What we're gonna do is leave a little gap that we can actually put a nail through to close the top of the hook, to close the mouth of, of the bait fish. Do about three wraps around there. So now you can see that we have the wire wrap, we have a space here, we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna have a place that we're gonna put our dual snap or coastal lock or whatever hardware that you use on your main line or your leader, I should say. So we're kinda of line that up. We're gonna clean up this gap a little bit so it's a little easier to use. It's a little tight here. So we're gonna open that up with a hook. So you can see that we have the shank of the wire wrap, a space here is about an inch, and then the final eyelet that we're gonna go ahead and hook our hardware to. This is a commercial one that I bought at a bait shop. You can see that it's very similar. The only difference is this one's a little longer, which is gonna work nice for the bait. In addition to that, we have this space that we're gonna be able to hook and nail through to go ahead and keep the mouth of the bait closed, which is very, very important. Otherwise, the bait's gonna act erratic and salmon aren't gonna hit it. All right, I have some bait here. This is actually some pretty old bait. This bait was destined for the crab pot, but I saved it for this video. To start off, you wanna get a nail. This one's a little longer than what you would use. This is about an inch and a half. You want about a one inch nail. What you do is you wrap a rubber band around the nail itself, and that's gonna be used to keep the mouth closed. So, you're gonna grab your wire. And you can see that the eyelet here is perpendicular with the shank of the hook. You're going to line it up. You want to follow the, the spine and to come out in the mouth. Go ahead and start pushing the wire through, following the spine. You want the eye of the rig to come out in the mouth of the bait. It takes a little. Let's see where we are. Sometimes you have to adjust. All right. There we go. So right around there. You're gonna take your nail, go through the bottom of the mouth of the bait, and through that gap that you have in the rig itself, wrap it around, come back to the top of the nail. And so this bait is kind of soft, so you can see the shape right now is not really that well. What we're gonna do is put a slight bend in the wire rig. Like I said, this bait is old. So I'm gonna put a little bend in there. You can see there's a slight bend that's gonna give that rotation, that one to two second rotation. Now sometimes, especially with bait like this, if, if you have a situation where the bait, it's not fresh, or it's not firm, you haven't done any type of brine to it, what you can do is you take a rubber band and wrap around the tail, keeping the hook secure and it's not gonna tear the bait and still gonna give a nice tight rotation. So yeah, you know, something like that. And that's also gonna spin in the water. So there you have it guys, that's how you do it. You can't get any simpler than that. Safety wire, owner hooks, links to these two are gonna be in the description below and you end up with a bait that salmon cannot resist. It's gonna spin one to two times per second in the water. They're gonna go absolutely crazy. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.